Hello. Um, yeah, so at the moment, as you can probably tell, I'm out. Uh, and it is snowing. Uh, and today, I ha usually I wouldn't go out in the snow on my own because I am literally the clumsiest person in the world and I have the I have really weak bones and joints so if I were to slip on the ice I could do a lot of damage uh, to myself so usually I don't go out in this kind of weather on my own uh, but today I had to uh, because I needed to go hand in my prescription because I'm nearly out of medication um, and my partner's ill so he couldn't go for me today so I thought I'll go on my own and I thought it'd be perfect ch chance as well to test out my new ice spikes because I've tested them in wet weather but never in snowy icy weather so I've been walking with these up to the doctors and yeah it's, they've worked really well I haven't really slipped at all um, so that's that's really good um, you know they grip really really well the snow is sort of slowly compacting and it's getting quite quite deep as well I don't know if you can see on the floor here sort of getting quite deep especially for this area in the UK we don't usually get a lot of snow you know we barely get any most years um so you know and apparently it's gonna carry on we're gonna have blizzards for the next three days um so yeah uh, so that's gonna be fun but i enjoy walking in the snow though because i like the feel with the snow when it crunches on your feet that's probably weird but never mind um so yeah i just thought i'd go out for a walk and to be honest i thought that i'd be shivering like mad but i'm not i'm actually overheating and I'm actually starting to sweat, which is really weird. Um, I've got like three layers of clothes on to keep my joints warm because if they get cold because of the arthritis and the Marfan syndrome, they will seize up and get all stiff and they won't want to work. So I've got to keep them warm. So even though I'm overheating and sweating, I'm going to keep all my layers on and I don't know if you can see sort of behind me there that's the Itchen River we can't see the other side of it because of the snow now, usually you can see Hive from here but today we can't there's too much snow blocking it um, but yeah I'm in a little shelter at the moment trying to shelter from the snow a little but it's still coming in so just go out here. Where I live. <laughs> so I decided to walk the long way home so that I could test out these ice bikes a bit. So I'm walking along Western Shore to get home. Um, yeah, it's, they're working out brilliantly. I haven't slipped once, you know. I'm actually, and I can use the cane to feel for ice as well so it's really good so definitely something that is worth buying for your walking sticks uh, this one I got in a mobility shop uh, for I think it was around about six pounds something like that so and they just screw onto any cane really it's got a little bracket that screws it on um, 
yeah and they fold up so if you go indoors when you don't need them you can fold them up against your cane so that you won't ruin floors with the spikes so that's pretty handy um, so yeah definitely something that's worth buying and that um, at the moment I'm trying to take it slow because I don't want to get too crazy and end up slipping over um, it's weird as well because I'm sort of like risk assessing every step in my head sort of mentally risk assessing and because there's so much snow you can't tell whether there's ice underneath that snow and the snow is starting to compact as well and go hard so that's becoming slippery as well um, but yeah also a good pair of I don't know if I can get the angle right but a good pair of boots good pair of walking boots with good grip on the bottom are always really good in the in the snow as well and these ones have really good grip so um yeah I'm actually enjoying this nice little walk it's really nice I like the snow I'm a big kid when it comes to snow can't wait to get out and play in it <laughs> Is, it makes everything look nice as well so I'm hoping maybe I can take I'm hoping maybe I can take a few little pictures maybe go up the woods take a few pictures there of the snowfall on the trees and whatever you know do a little bit of photography um, so yeah but I think I'm going to cut this video here now because I'm trying to concentrate on walking without slipping up um, so yeah thanks for watching and do invest in some ice spikes if you use a walking stick they are very handy, very useful they're working really well you know and you just pull on these and it folds down and you pull on them again and fold them out now I've just done that one handed that's how easy they are to use I've just done that one handed so they are definitely really good but yeah thanks for watching I will see you later I'm going to carry on my little walk bye bye